What's up everybody? Nina and here at Nalitech Studio. So, welcome back. Today we are looking at rendering with Twin Motion. So the model we are using is something that we have recently modeled with him using Archicad. If you wanted to check it out, you can go ahead and check it out. Link is in the description below. So the first thing that you want to do before you render anything is to come to the twin motion tab and go to settings you want to change from the by materials which is always there by default to no match because you don't want things to be collapsed to just materials if you want to affect objects differently be sure to check that and then make sure you are using twin motions materials and objects and in here be sure to uncheck everything here because anything in the model which is less than 50 millimeters will be excluded if you have all this stuff checked so in the connection i'm currently using 2021.1 and i hope these things are clear for you and i'll say okay so once you have finished the settings you want to go to twin motion again and click on direct link so it will start processing and we switch over to twin motion now. Well, we want to be able to create a new project. So we say, okay, yeah. So we navigate by using WASD keys. First thing is we want to delete this ground plane. So we come here into layers and with that selected, we can either delete it or hide it so for now i'm going to delete it and that's because i want to bring this menu and i need to pick from vegetation and landscape a flat landscape and i drop it in well so now i have this landscape which we can take down such that you can see well because i'm recording at the same time as doing this i may need to reduce the resolution of my image so Control p i'll go to the quality here and take it to medium what my pc can handle so now i have brought in this flat landscape because i want to be able to sculpt it so you can come here in sculpt you can adjust the sliders and intensity and begin to sculpt this landscape so i'll go ahead and go around the model and you can increase the speed by hitting the numbers one two three all the way up one is for moving speed which is super slow two is for the bicycle speed and three is for the car speed so i'll choose three and i come in here and elevate these portions If I increase the intensity and then also the diameter, I can make sort of a mountain around this place. But if I do not want to see those jaggedness, we can smooth it out using that slider. So once you're happy now it's time to put in some grass on the background so you want to go to vegetation here pick the scatter and be sure to go back and look for detailed grass. so i like to use this one here and with it selected i can pick the plus tool here in order to add the scene so 
So all you have to do is to click a couple of times and it will be added. For the neighboring landscape, you want to go back and choose the vegetation paint. And this time we use long grass, we drag and drop it in. And we can increase the intensity to maximum and brush around this area and you can see how we get the whole surface and covered with the grass. So we need some trees in here so we can drop in like three categories, select all of them, we can increase the density thereof and pick our brush tool and paint in the background. And you can also adjust the edge as well from here. Right here, I can go to localization and choose uh, the position of the sun. So looking at this, I think I need some light to heat in the interior. And you can choose the time of day as well. So I'll go for the evenings, something like 3 p.m and adjust this one ever so slightly so there we have it you can adjust the background but we already covered it doesn't matter mine will be in the country so after that we have the weather so we can bring the slider to in order to add some clouds in the sky if you look at that you can see that we now begin to add in some clouds and back again, we can adjust how warm or cool this picture is going to look like. So I like it just a little bit warm, something like 8,000 Kelvins. And as well, you can adjust the strength of the shadows. This is very strong and this is uh, a bit lighter. So I like to keep it a bit high. So in here we can increase the ambience or de decrease it so depending on the result we will see what to do with that so definitely now we want to set up the camera we can enable parallelism such that we do not have uh, skewed angles so let's have enable that on and then we can also reduce the focal length so we can just go back a bit and choose something between 50 and 60. Yeah. We can add visual effects. Under visual effects, we can go to color gradient and maybe add a bit of contrast. And you can also make it more saturated or less saturated. So depending on the look you're going for, but I'll keep mine just above the default. into media image and we can create the our first image right there so we need to reduce the speed i will click one to be in the walk mode so i can set up the scene i like to see something like that and then i click update here and it will be updated so that's our image and as well, it can have the different things that we did change. So you can change uh, the things depending on this very image like we did before. And 
now that our scene is ready we can add some objects like if we go back go to characters and we go to posed humans we can pick somebody enter in here and place him in Perhaps they shall be using the wardrobe. And finally, let's work on the materials. So, with the material picker, I can uh, pick that and go into materials. I'm going to use some wood here. So, this one will work. And that's cool. Go, you can reduce or increase the reflection depending on what you want to see. The scale looks okay. Everything else is just fine. Next is the metal. Uh, I think I'm going to work with some chrome material for metal. And I need to give it a color of black for my case. I like to have that contrasty black and I'm going to pick that material and also have it for the roof right there so for that coping. And as well, let me change the speed to a bicycle so I can go in very fast. This wood material, we can change to an oak material here. So we choose the same material for the whole thing and for the roof as well, for the ceiling as well, and for this surface too. For the flooring. We'll use a light wood uh, paneling of the oak. Yeah, that will do. That looks cool. And for the bed, we may not want to keep Akikad's bed, so we can hide it or we could delete it from Akikad and re export. So now that we have hidden, I will bring a bed here in objects home, bedroom. Yeah, being a bed like this one, drop it in. I can rotate here 90 degrees. Uh, that's the other way, right? Wrong. 180 to have it there. And I place it. That's awesome. So update our deleted image. So with this selected we want to to hide it and we update such that it doesn't show up in this one all you have to do is to go into export grab the image you can see it's right there you select it and you go into export and choose where to put it and the rendering takes just a few minutes. That is it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.